our next topic is our generators. So if you yourself are not a generator, more likely than anything, there's someone you care about who is. <laughs> and now this uh, particular, I guess, set of slides that we're going to go over does apply to manifesting generators as well. However, I have a special show where we will talk about the nuances and slight differences. But this size that I have for generators is referring to pure generators. This is not lumping manifesting generators in as well. So this 36% is pure generators. Having said that, if you're a manifesting generator watching this, I would assume... I would imagine about 80 to 90 percent of everything we're going to say is also going to apply to you because um, a generator is a generator is a generator. Um, so where do you want to start? Well, we, we've been kind of talking about this. So every generator, whether pure or manifesting, has the same strategy, which is wait to respond. So as far as I understand this, something has to happen outside of you and then you get to check in with your authority whatever that may be whether that's a yes or a no for you well you can check in with your sacral that that's that it's a yes or a no at, at all times all generators mm -hmm. have a generative response to the thing whatever this thing is and you're right it comes in mostly from the outside world but plenty of it does come from us because even though it may have come from the outside world a week ago, suddenly in a moment, you put something together with something else. And now it's really sort of inside of you, too, because mm -hmm. you figured something out. Now you can generate on that, too. You can respond to that. But it is still from the outside because usually yeah. it'll be like a song made you. Someone said something. So it really is still from uh, the outside. So for all types of generators, it is satisfaction or frustration. Yep. These what themes are doing? wicked important because what, what's going on with the generator? You notice in this picture metal detectors is, yes thank you the, yeah this, there's this, a name for this <laughs> well no no it's good uh, you got me started um what you're looking at in the picture the red box in the center is is the sacral the generative life force of the planet and the reason it's called the generative life force of the planet is because the biological core each of these centers is a strict biology mechanically speaking it is a biology this is the testicles and the ovaries of the planet it's the sexual apparatus that produces more. <clears throat> Doesn't sound very sexy, does it? We'll leave that up to the emotional. <laughs> we'll leave that up to the emotional solar plex center. That makes it all juicy. I get it, but still, and it's it's so it's the life force of the planet because it's what physically creates the life. That's all. It just creates the life. It's literally the buzzing energy of humanity to make more, and it's not just make more babies. It's make more stuff, make more ideas, make more talks, yes. make more things, so, make more action, buzz with energy so that you keep building something. The keep, generators keep are the creating. builders. Like where did the name generator even come from, right? So it came from what? It came from the sacral center because the sacral center generates a buzz. That buzzing energy as you recognize in Jesse. Jesse is the definition of a generator. Perfect. And yeah. um the buzz that's in Jesse, like in all children, but in generators, it stays with them their whole life, is this burning energy that will not shut off until it is satisfied enough to physically fall asleep. So if a generator is physically upright and or just awake, they're generating this incredible auric right. field that is constantly buzzing and, and it's ready to work. Uh, see, I like to, to look at it like a little factory. It's a factory. Turn sure. off. Yep. <laughs> turn off and just factory's keep... working except when you're asleep. Yeah, it. exactly. It's, it's... Uh, when the workers go home, then otherwise that thing's on. That it's thing's making on. Stuff. It's uh, right. you know your conveyor belt. It's going. And the it's... other three types don't work that way. They have cyclical on off, cyclical on off. We're just poured on the whole time until. The generative box is satisfied enough, has run out its available power source for that day, and it falls asleep. <clears throat> you know what? That's a fun way to look at this. It's just like popped into my mind as you're saying that. So usually, you know, any sort of factory or 
conveyor belt or what have you, I would think would be running on some sort of program that says you need to make X amount of cars or you need to make X amount of cookies. And right. once those X amount of quota has been produced, you are allowed to go home. <laughs> Quite literally. And going home <laughs> is crashing out, it's falling asleep. So a right. couple things about all that for sleep with generators, just generally speaking, if you're trying to go to bed before you're done wearing out your energy, you're going to have crappy sleep. Um, it's not going to work very well. We and get we'll start, to that. Yeah, you're, we'll start, you're ruining my flow. <laughs> just yanking your chair. Oh. No, really, it's it's all there. But you'll you'll see what what he means in detail. So okay, now, so not self theme. Is that what yeah, we're off so to? Yeah. So now you get to choose. Let's go into the aura. Yeah, because it's going this way. So, so it's aura, open and enveloping. It. What this is is it's your energy body that is around your physical body that you can touch so just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there it's very much there but as a generator that aura i want you to think of it as if it's just trying to bring things in so it's open like an open open arms right and it's trying to scoop things towards it so that is what that means the aura, mechanically speaking, so that so I see where the you know what I see where I make things complicated. Now that I think about it, because you just explained something that someone can latch onto and say, "Oh yeah, yeah, I feel that, I sense that, I sort of get that." Uh, and here I come along. Well, the mechanics of that are, um, and it's important though. The mechanics of that are very specific. Everybody has an aura, do they not? Yeah, it's, it's, everyone has an aura, but. Most what is an aura? Have. It's an electromagnetic signature that is being poured off your body for the basically the same reason that the Matrix said they wanted humans, because we're like little batteries. If you're a battery, you have an electromagnetic signature. You have a little bubble around you that's measurable. We've measured it. Humanity has measured this electromagnetic signature over and over again, have we not? I mean, we know it. It extends out about an arm's length in every direction, or a little bit more. And and it physically is out there, and it's communicating what is in the design out into the world. That's what the aura is doing. The aura is literally communicating out into the world that which is inside the design. It's working right. like a Wi-Fi, and it's like a very like the most potent Wi-Fi we could ever have. Right. So as a generator, <laughs> um, what that means for you is when someone's in your aura, it generally feels warm and fuzzy. It's like, oh, okay, you know, it it's a warm, inviting aura when it's open and inclusive. <laughs> so the aura um, has this quality in it. All of our auras have something really specific. And it says in there, open and inclusive. The real keynote for it is open and enveloping. It's Which I guess you could also say is inclusive, but enveloping keynotes it like really specifically. It stretches out from us mm -hmm. and it envelops the other that's that warm feeling you're saying mm -hmm. and it literally acts as a a, a heat sink a, a, an attractor magnet it, it, since it's enveloping everything things just fall into the generator that's why all the generators always get together that's why everyone always circles around the generators as it relates to doing stuff you won't find very many you know communities of manifestors or anything any of non uh, of non generators you'll never find one and in fact, they'll create a community. They'll be generators in their own amongst themselves, but open and enveloping. And what it says is, I can't discern. The generator aura does zero discernment. It simply is broadcasting its envelopment of the other. It envelops everything. Hi, I'm bear hug you, envelop you, envelop you. That's what makes us have a sense that we can even get near a person. We're, they're enveloping us and we're enveloping them. And it doesn't discern, which is why the generator needs its strategy, because it's constantly in response. If things are pulling into it and they're constantly having stuff pulled into it, all it can do is respond. It's responding all day long. Its truth is a response. So the characteristics of that aura are profound. They touch as soon as you're within about eight feet of the other person or, or even 10 feet of the other person they're starting to touch when you're within six feet of the uh, feet of the other person your auras are totally interlocked 
they're totally communicating and everything everything that's in your design and those are the mechanics so that that's why we're always trying to get closer to each other let's say beauty and the beast right and beauty mm -hmm. and the beast remember when she was um having her be her get be our guest song and they just kept bringing different plates of desserts and food to her and it was just up to her to be like, yeah, I'll eat that. No, I won't eat that. Yeah, I'll eat that. No, I won't eat that. Perfect then, generator. Perfect generator. Right? Yep. yep. It, it, it just like popped in my head. I'm like, yeah, because they're trying to envelop, meaning things are coming to Come, you. Keep coming. Keep coming. And it's They'll like a container belt. All you can do is, yes, I'll eat that. No, I won't. Yes, no. Yes, no. So that's uh, the aura just... <laughs> Magnetic. And it's magnetic. Anything. It's pulling in and it doesn't discern. Human design, not self theme, is what your theme is when the beep, beep, beep is happening in your metal detector going, uh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So your feeling of, I don't, I don't like this comes up and that feeling is frustration. So some of the different ways that a generator will feel frustration is when let's say they're initiating from the mind. What does that mean? Meaning in your head, you're like, I think I'm going to start this. Like you're just trying to come up with something from your head instead of waiting for something outside of you for you to be in response to. Like, how would you add to that, Danny, for just no, that? No, no, instead of waiting for something outside of you to be in a response, Responsive mode is to literally understand that you must orient yourself in response to life instead of orienting yourself out in front to initiate. Every time you, every time a generator is trying to do something because they think they did something, they think they have to, and they're trying to do the thing. Nine times out of ten, that wasn't the right thing for them because they're trying, and they stopped responding to the environment and they started trying to do something. Sometimes it's the right thing. Sometimes they will collide, but mostly so they don't. I will, I, I will make a, a good example of, of this. So I have a friend of mine who is a pure generator, and she is very much experiencing her not self theme, which is mm -hmm. frustration, because she is uninspired and bored with her current line of work. And the not self mind of course comes from a lot of social conditioning and in her head she know she thinks she has to do something or make something happen in order for that situation to change she doesn't she has to wait to respond even if it takes a month or a year and she has to get in touch with her strategy now here's why <laughs> As soon as she gets in touch with her strategy to wait to respond and she starts doing it, she'll start to realize she only responds where her power can be released as herself, where her power is 100% released. Here's the mechanic of what's happening with this generative response. A generative response can move a mountain. Oh my God, I'm into it. I'm doing it. You can't stop it. They'll, uh, yeah. It'll work all day and it won't be sad and it's happy. It loves its blisters. It can't wait to come home and, and finally fall asleep, like dead asleep and get up and do it again. Okay. If it's not exactly right, that being can't go move that mountain. They can sort of go try. Honey, go move the mountain, someone says to their spouse. And then the generator, it's not their idea. They don't want to do it. And they start doing it. And if it's truly not theirs to do, the sacral won't release the right amount of energy to do it very well. Doesn't mean the person can't labor through it and move part of the mountain and do whatever. It's just that it's not right for them. And so they're only working at half speed. They're only working at half power or third power, or or they're not working at full. Generators know when they're working at full power because they're excited and they're satisfied. And that's when the frustration goes away. So the, the this generator thinks waiting a month to find the right set of responses and get in touch with my strategy is hard. Just wait the month without your strategy. It'll still be really hard and you'll be just as frustrated. Unless you finally run into the lucky break that it was the thing that you needed. It's just that one way, it was luck and the other way was you were watching it you, you just won't get there so one of the things she's doing is she's applying to a bunch of jobs she's like i have to apply to a bunch of jobs and get an interview and then and only then will my situation change she, well that's that's wise, that's wise of her so generators aren't dumb they know that they're not working right 
and then they lash out at the world to try and make something happen. What she's really doing is trying to create an environment where she'll have something to respond to. So mm-hmm. on that note, I would say good generator. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. That, yep. But basically, if you know, create a bunch of different interviews so that you'll have something to respond to, and then she'll know. The reason she said then and only then will I know is because she has a, I was guessing she has a distinct recognition, an intuitive recognition that at the end of the day, only in the moment will she know. <laughs> and that's true. Is she emotional? Does she have solar plex that's defined? A, that's a good question. I can't remember. I actually can't well, let's remember. Let's pretend so, she doesn't. So She'll know in the moment. I want to clarify something. So in her case, let's say her initiating applying is not initiating it's still it responding Explain well no the no not necessarily because at the time she starts initiating that stuff there's every chance she's already been frustrated for so long yes that the frustration that because there's still a generator inside of her that's true and pure and correct mm-hmm. and that little guy is always coming out and beating out the frustration because the frustration is what's making it sick and then, and then the monkey mind gets back involved and frustrates them all over again. But they have plenty of moments and times and, and periods where they are their generative self. So basically, the frustration was so deep that suddenly she just lashed out at the world in response to her frustration and going to book a bunch of going to book a bunch of things. Now she's doing well. So in the moment that she's like, "That's it, papers open," or however you look at jobs these days, and I'm doing this, and she calls that one, gets that resume out, does this thing, does all that stuff. Now she's generating. Now she is generating. So th- okay, so that's that's kind of a light bulb moment for me because you did mention that generators can still respond to things internally, and a yeah. very internal feeling is the not self. Things of frustration. Yeah, Look you're at- not self. So it doesn't always have to necessarily be a person talking outside. It could be also. Uh, feeling from the inside that yeah. you were responding to ah. yeah it doesn't how many generators feel like a light bulb one off <laughs> very very cool your agenda right is feeling like you have to put up with something in order to get the thing you actually want it's like no 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 i need to you know, put in a couple of of good years at this company, and then I'll actually get to do the job I actually want to do. That is a surefire way to get to frustration city. Absolutely. But maybe it's not, because suddenly a few weeks into that whole thing, you might realize, oh, I actually don't mind this very much. Uh, Who knows? And if that's the case, then they'll be satisfied. The real clue is not to worry about how much you did or didn't uh, initiate up front, is to leave those moments behind. The generator has to live in the now when it mm-hmm. comes to recognizing these things. It doesn't mean you never think about the future and you don't go over the past. I'm just saying your actual living is in the now, in a response. And we have to tease out what this generative motor, how it responds, because it's the difference between the frustration or not. You have to see it. Frustration is simply a chemistry. The mechanics of frustration are it's a chemistry. Mm -hmm. Your mind doesn't say it's frustrated. The body is not releasing its energy, right? And it's releasing the wrong endorphins and the wrong hormones and the wrong flow of this and that at the wrong timing. And your body and your mind pick that up as this isn't right. I don't like it. It's frustrated. I don't like it. It's your body that doesn't like it. It's not your mind. Your mind's only witnessing. Your body's constantly informing the mind of when it's frustrated and when it's satisfied. Mm -hmm. You as a generator have to start seeing that. Am I frustrated? Well, let me get back into this experiment and see what is this response. Am I satisfied with this? Hey, I guess I, that's me. Um, so you're measuring between frustration and response very specifically and directly by virtue of recognizing, are you initiating in the present moment? Are you simply in response to the thing? Mm-hmm. You, you can look at orienting yourself in response in two different ways. I always have to analogize it. One is like a screw yeah the directions of something say hey put this thing here mount this thing in the wall and then screw it in with the screw right so you're at the screw you're screwing it in everyone screwed a screw into something and the directions say screw it until it's snug and then back it off one half turn that's an instruction that we can follow that's the generator you're always trying to initiate as if you're all snug tight to the right to the to what you're trying to get to in the future 
when in reality you have to loosen up a little bit and back off one half turn and just wait you're simply backing off one half a turn it's like being in a dance you're not the lead in a dance in this moment in this analogy you follow and people are like oh no it's a disadvantage i'm not a waiter i'm a doer i'm gonna go do 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 well look at it like you're the dance partner the one who's following at the end of the dance who had more fun nobody you both had fun who danced more <laughs> who danced more steps nobody you both danced a ton of steps right who um who made the dance good neither of you you both were needed but you're the generator yeah. oriented in response to it all doesn't mean you can't lead when you're dancing that it just means that this is an analogy and then and then who began first no one really you started at the same time you also ended at the same time who's ahead nobody who got there first nobody you're just oriented in the follower position rather than the leader position don't worry about being seen as only a follower which many generators will feel in that in this moment i'm saying that you don't have to worry about that once your responder lets out the power that needs to be let out so that you can do the thing suddenly you're a manifester in the time that you're responding to that thing think about it it's if that's a healthy response and you're out doing that job you're also manifesting i'm doing this thing i love this job you know what i'm going to call that guy boom that sounds like initiation talk i'm going to call that guy that's really a response to the original <laughs> foundational response which was hey this job ain't so bad let me give it a go Oh, I sort of like it. Oh, it's fun. though. It sends me here. Oh, I get to go here today. I'm going to talk to this guy. He thinks he's going to say no to me. He'll be saying yes when I'm done with him. This is all generator talk. Ah, so let's look at the flip side of that. So let's say we'll, we'll use the example of a daily grind, right? Which is yep. that same job. They go in and they hate it. They hate it. They're just putting up with it because it's like, this is how I get a paycheck. I am super frustrated. I wish something else would happen would to me. come along right and now that's generator talk i wish something else would happen that's a generator of course we're waiting for something to happen their auras open and enveloping drawing stuff in including thoughts and um they're waiting to respond to that their and wisdom and the intelligence so comes say? from a response if you're a generator your wisdom your intelligence and your truth comes as a response Exactly. You got into the strategy, right? It, yeah. It's you're responding to your sacral grunts, like, mm hmm, or uh uh. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Yeah. So the generators, the, the sacral, uh, the sacral box inside the body graph, it speaks, it has a voice, it's grunts and groans, and those voices are yes and no. It's a binary system. It's mm -hmm. no. It's no wonder our computers and everything around us copy our binary yes no generative format. You know, they, they copy it exactly. Ones and zeros, on and off. Um, even relays and sensors. Sensors are on off, on off, they tell you. Um, that generative box is waiting to respond to release the power that will be its truth. Now they're in this job that sucks. They don't like it. The reason they don't like it is because they want to release all their power. Ah. And generative power is incredible. Think about, think about your boy. When he is gets going, what you know, if you don't turn, if you don't stop him, he won't stop. Yeah. You can't keep up with him. You don't you, you can't keep you can't. Don't even try. He's and and same thing with dad. Dad can barely keep up with him. Essentially, but he can. But it's like because he's generating energy doing what he wants. Mm -hmm. Now think about every time you make him you change his course of direction and he doesn't want to do it. What happens? Oh, yeah. Frustration rears its head right and what does the kid do he flumps he flops he can't do it he doesn't want to do it it's, he won't tie his shoes he's not putting on his sock he's not do, the power isn't there to do it now that kid's being correct mm -hmm. he's going to learn soon oh i'm going to put on the sock anyways because i have to and he's going to get taken away from his nature unless you keep a very close guard on all of that mm -hmm. and always be asking him the yes or no questions that allow him to respond and then before you have to tell him what to do um and, and you keep pointing it out that that's his beautiful truth. So now this person is coming up against their truth. You know what the truth is? If I come up to the person who hates their job and I start asking him candid questions, let's say they're out on a break and I walk up and I say, hey, I'm just taking a quick survey. No one's around. I was like, hey, do you love your job? And they're like, no, that's a generator. 
hey, if a great job came along, would you love it? Yeah, totally. Please give me another job. That generator will say. These are generated responses. They're immediate. And I want to get to this immediate mechanic so they can see if they tune into the strategy, which is to wait to respond, they will see how much their truth comes out as a response. Mm -hmm. That response, when I asked that person candidly, hey, would you love to quit? If I gave you a million dollars, would you quit your job? Hell yeah. That person will say, that's a generated response. What I want people to point out and see is that that's immediate. Mm -hmm. It's immediate. And you ask, Jesse, Jesse, you want some chocolate ice cream? Uh huh. Jesse oh, yeah. says, that, oh, yeah. Of course. Uh huh. Of course. That's not thought. There's no thinking. That's immediate because the yeah. generative sacral box, the sacral acts as a diaphragm. It bounces back anything that comes to it immediately at the mm -hmm. speed of chemical electricity because it's your chemistry. So at the speed of battery, the chemical battery will turn on a mm -hmm. flashlight, which is immediate, is the speed at which that response of truth is there and the energy and the power to back it up, to go run a mile, to go get the thing, to pick the stuff up, to do the dang dishes. It doesn't matter. The energy is there to do it. Um, so, Query, this is, this is fun because I have it in the slide. So how would you create an environment that is helpful to generators where they are needing to respond to things? It's hard to create that environment per se, unless you take them out of their environment and create an artificial environment for them. Um, what they have to do is create the environment for themselves first by seeing that they have a genetic strategy that once they start witnessing it, they can start to interface with their body and its truth. Mm -hmm. The de body's design is awake and aware and its sole job is to navigate us. That's why it releases its power when you've navigated in the right direction. And a little bit like the Bible says, well, the path is rather narrow. You know what I mean? There's only a few things that are satisfying to the generator right now and everything else is only frustrating. They don't want it. They want the one thing they're looking at, doing whatever it is. So, so they need to go ahead. So one person, there's two ideas that I have come across that I thought would be helpful to a generator. One is one of my best friends. She was, um, what's the word I'm looking for? My brain's not working. She came up with this, <laughs> this internal query to herself where she'd be like, do I want to eat pizza? No. Do I want to have sushi? Yeah. And she just asking herself yes or no questions. That's clumsy, but it will work to a certain degree. If you're new in the experiment, don't think that's going to work because your mind is going to get in the way and fake out questions for you and make you uncertain about what your response was. You got to get into the experiment by witnessing that there is a difference. Has it, does it, is it fair to say everyone at least remembers what a record player is? I, I know what a record player is. I don't think I ever used one. I think that's, so, uh, yeah. that's incredible, Moana. But, anyways, if you've <sighs> ever heard a record play, um, sometimes a record would get a skip in it. You know, yeah. zip, the skip, and it would sort of ruin that little part of the tune. And the skip only lasted like a tenth of a second, but you could hear it. Yeah. It was very quick, but you heard it because it skipped. Yeah. yeah. That's what the mind is like. The mind is a skip of a record away, whereas the generative response is immediate. Now, those two things are only a split second apart, half a second, third a second, at most a full second, if even a tenth of a second. But they're still miles apart when you think of how immediate a response is. You have to witness it. You have to witness it. It's the only, the only thing that's going to get a generator into the environment that guarantees they'll stop being frustrated and will find the right power to move away from that job they don't like. The only thing that's going to do it reliably is to witness they have a responder that guarantees it will tell it its own truth. Only, ever, always. So it's I know truth. a lot of generators are so out of touch with their sacral response because they've just, you know, masked it under their monkey mind. So what about the, the, I guess, suggestion of someone like them asking a loved one to do that same exercise I mentioned, instead of them doing it to themselves, someone outside of them does it. Or it's like, yeah, yeah. do you yeah. want to do this? Yes or no. Do you want to try that? Yes or no. Oh, that That's perfect. That would be a perfect ideal situation is to have someone else literally ask the questions. 
hey, what do you feel like eating tonight? Oh, I'm not sure. And then that other person miles off, oh, we have this or this. Oh, yeah, 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 that. Now that yeah. generator has to witness that they're, they've got a generative responsiveness and they have to witness how quickly that was true. Yeah. And then they have to witness how a skip of a record later, it may only yeah. be a third of a second in actual time, Yeah. but yeah. relative to the response, it might as well be a mile away. Yeah. Because relative to the response, which is immediate, it's really, it's far away. Right. You have to recognize, oh, my mind got involved. Oh, I actually started thinking a thing. Well, maybe not that because then I'll have to maybe clean up the thing or do the stuff and I don't feel like waiting or whatever. They'll start thinking. Yeah. The truth was, no, they, they like the sound of that. The truth right. was they like that thing. So, so this, this something you actually touched on already. Um, so some of the obstacles generators might face is, of course, patience, because you don't know when the thing is going to happen for you to respond to. So it could be kind of hard to wait. <laughs> yep. Work should feel like play. Patience. You have to wait. Basically, look at the generator like the Buddha that sits by the river and waits for the thing to float by. It's just that in a, in a real world, you're not waiting long for things to float by. There's never a shortage of stuff because of the open enveloping aura of the generator. There's never a shortage of stuff for a generator to respond to, ever. Mm -hmm. Even if you put them in a quiet room, there's stuff. That's, that's that the thing that, uh, you know, I always found incredible. Like, I saw somewhere that it's like, yeah, generators have something to respond to, like, every second, every millisecond of the day. It's just a matter of being in tune and noticing that. Yes. And, and here's a great practice. If you can't tell what you're supposed to do, surrender and wait. And if you can't surrender, that's your not self. And you'll notice it's frustrating and all of your energy sucks and you don't feel like doing anything. And you can't tell what you feel like doing and you start getting depressed, melancholy, sadness. You just nothing feels right. And you are definitely not living your best life in that moment. Mm -hmm. see it the only way to kill that moment so that's no longer there is to witness it and you witness it juxtapose in relation to other times when you did respond especially difficult things are when you'll notice it the most and it's there for a generator you know when the most difficult thing is that's that's like an archetype of a difficult thing is when someone is asking you to do something i can promise you nine times out of ten Moana, you ask uh, uh, your husband, David, to do something, and 99 times out of 100, he doesn't want to do that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, like, it's usually always cleaning-related. He's sure. like, but, but it's I, and I can hear the groan. He yeah. doesn't even have to audibly do the groan. I can energetically hear the you, groan. You hear <laughs> correctly. So, so if you want to experiment with your husband, you ask him, hey, do you feel like and you better give him permission to say uh-uh without getting your evil eye mrs mrs um right so yeah. or else he won't or else you won't get an honest answer but aside from that just out in the world generally speaking you have to yes, witness that absolutely have, um and then um i think response. you kind of quickly went over this is like work should feel like play and you don't necessarily have to separate the two that's a good question what is the best way to figure out what each design wants for dinner such as generators for generators it is literally yeah we already answered it's literally asking yeah. them and and that's, and that's a good, good tip so we'll we'll do that for all the types as we go along so i have another friend who was in a job scenario that she absolutely detested and she got herself out you know frustration boiled over and then uh i don't know if I, I like, oh man, as a generator, that's probably not the best way to go about things is thinking, you know, I can separate work and play. Like my work can be eh and my play can be the part where I actually enjoy myself. As a generator, correct me if I'm wrong, that is not putting you at your full potential. You're correct. You're correct. You've got to love the work you do. You've got to end up being happy with all the things you're doing such that you're generally satisfied throughout the day. Satisfaction becomes this thing you have to deeply become in tune to 
because for every moment that you're frustrated, you're allowing cancer in, you're allowing sickness, you're not living out what you're supposed to be, you're not the best version of a partner for your mate, you're none of the best things you were supposed to be. There's an axiom in human design, two of them. You have to get into the experiment so you can see it. Well, once you see it, the conditioning, and you see a response, seeing that response kills it. It kills the lack of response. It makes you do, it makes you be you. And the second axiom is maximum of law for, for a generator, for all, all design types, is the kid is always right. Mm -hmm. The little four-year-old inside of you, like Jesse, two-year-old, that just is doing all the things. And as soon as you give it something else, it correctly flops on the floor and says, I don't want to know what it means, and it won't do the thing. That's yeah. the kid being correct, just so you know. Yeah. That's the kid being correct. And you're going to, you know, ultimately the kid will stop doing that. And so it will start being incorrect. <laughs> And now it has to know that so it can see what's happening because it's sometimes you got to do that. But when you're satisfied and you're that little kid, you're automatically satisfied most of the time because you're only doing the stuff that's correct for you. The child inside of you is correct. You have to get in touch with that kid. If that kid says, uh-huh, that kid's right. The kid is right. So the adult ass self in your body is wrong almost all the time. And the kid is always right. And seeing it fixes all of it. You have to see it to kill the conditioning. So, so the the other thing that I feel like it's it's mass conditioning is that you know everyone's supposed to hate their job. They're supposed to hate what they do. It's just normal. Oh, universally, nobody wants to uh, you know be perky on a Monday, right? right? So I feel generators have a lot of self judgment in that realm where it's like you know everyone else feels this way about work. You know, why should I feel any differently trying to do something that I actually enjoy? You know, it just sucks. And most people suck. So it sucks for me. And that's normal. Da, 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 da. That's the conditioning field, generally speaking. Yeah. We need to get generators into their experiment. And into their experiment is a very minutiae, specific, unique one thing. And it's the observation of that skip of a record's worth of difference between their sacral response, which is their truth, which they're so happy about in that moment, and then the mind that comes in with the fears and the concerns and the worries and trying to usurp the sacral and think that it thinks it can think out what's supposed to be true. Yes. With a list and a, and a, and a measurement, and it can't. It can't. The mind can only get in the way. The responder is independent of your mind. It's independent. I just had a fantastic t-shirt idea. <laughs> Let's oh, see if anyone else agrees with this. The mind is the usurper of your authority. The mind treats the body like a slave. And yes. Or that. And, but yeah, yep. I just I just really like the word usurper. I think yeah. it's, it's just a fancy, fun word. It's the mind trying is to, the usurper. Of the of the of the truth of the being, yeah. The mind is, is the it, usurper of the truth of the being. It it it's constantly are you know you know I, I guess a less. Um, Tell me, Moana, how do you yeah. experience anger, frustration, bitterness, any of these things, disappointment? At least it be a chemistry in your body. How do you do that without your body's chemistry cooperating enough to give you the sense of frustration? You yeah. can't. It, the it body usually, rules. It's, it's your mind that tries to you rationalize it. it away, right? It's yeah. like, no, 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 like you're not supposed to feel I'll be it. okay. Or, I'll no, get up no, in the no. morning. It's, this is just normal. Or, yep. but I'll yeah. get used to it. I'll get used to it. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'll I, get used to it. That's what I'm it. afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. You'll get used to it, you know? That's no good. Um, yeah, yeah. Mostly. So that, that's a thing. And then uh, that that just brings us to our next point is well, the before we get to the next shoulda. point before we get to the next yes. point how else can we really animate this difference between the immediate truth which is divine god oriented the truth of the power and the essence of the being which yeah. is also the child yeah the child is always right the child is yeah. never wrong yeah. you're wrong the kid ain't yeah how do we animate further that immediate responsiveness of the generator versus a split second later in the mind coming in trying to think stuff i just Even want like i can't try that yeah I can't drive it home strong enough. It. Like, like someone is sitting on the throne 
right? Let's say it's your authority. And then some rando just comes in and tries to shove you out of the chair. And yeah, that rando is your mind. mind. Yep. Yep. It's like, no, no, I want to sit here. And it's like, this isn't your seat. It's like, right. yeah, it That's is. It. Yeah, no, it, exactly. And but that that not self mind will convince the true self that it is its seat. Yeah. And then the true self is like, it's like the kid picture the kid always right, looking out at its world, participating in its world, living it always wrong. Mm -hmm. That kid's always going to be sad. Yeah. And hence the person that you were referring to trying to find the other job, they're sad. Mm -hmm. And the only time they were, well, when they were happy, one of the times they were happy is when suddenly they started looking at a bunch of other jobs and just said, screw it, I'm going to set up 500 applications and 20 different interviews. Perfect. Good. Mm -hmm. You'll have something to respond to real soon. You know, yeah. thank God. Um, good generator. So now we now move on. I just, I need to make it so important. That's the crux yeah. of the generator experiment. Mm -hmm. witness their response of truth mm -hmm. just like the kid did yeah um so the attachment of what you should be doing right which is what i was saying the woulda coulda shoulda right it's like i should be uh grateful that i even have a job there's so many people who don't or you know i i should be working that's all the work of the mind every yeah, one of these I is should. a measurement by the mind measurement i should be yeah. more more is a measurement yeah, response should, isn't a measurement it's a response should, should. and because of all these constructs of the mind like you said you 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 block off that wonderful sacral voice beep, beep, right sacral that could be blocking voice your sacral voice to from bringing that thing to you or you know what it, it's not even like or it's bringing blocked. you to it or bringing you to it yeah both I, it's like, the way i look at it is it's not even blocked it's more like it's right in front of you and your beeps are not going off anymore. That's right. Because the generator can choose to respond in each new moment. Yeah. Two seconds later, she could suddenly be like, I quit. Boom. Her response to the frustration and she'll land in a job. Mm -hmm. She'll land in a job. But um. Oh, but, but no, I, I should stay until I line something up. There's nothing That's, wrong with that, by the yeah. way. They can, but, but as long as they're following their strategy and authority into the new job so that they get 20 interviews and they really are only taking the one that they respond affirmatively to, even if it pays a little less. Yeah. Even if it pays a little less, you got to take the thing that lights you up. Yes. That's, on the surface, that's the advice. Do the things that light you up. And then yeah. people, and then what happens to mine? Mine comes in and says, oh, I can't just do what lights me up. I have to earn a living. I have to do the thing. I have to whatever, right? I have to do the I have to live in the real world. I have to live in, oh, there's one for you. That's a story. Can't be child, in the land. <laughs> your inner child is the only thing that lives in the real world. And you have to let it out. You have to let it start making these decisions for you as it relates to at least being aware that it's what's true. As soon as you see it, that that's actually what's true, you'll start being so frustrated that your body, that you're allowing the energy to come out in such a crappy way, only halfway out in what you're doing, that you'll start navigating away naturally, responsibly. Mm -hmm. When you mm -hmm. see it, you'll respond to that. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Trust me. And when the generator responds affirmatively, affirmatively to something, nothing can stop that generator. Mm -hmm. That generator will outpace and outmaneuver and out manifest the manifester. They'll out recognize the recognizers of inside the projectors they'll, they'll, because that's what they're designed to do. And it's not a competition. It's just they'll keep going and going and going mm -hmm. because they have the generative sacral juice to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. And that's and we need that. That's what makes them the builders, the workers. That's what makes them the slaves. See, you just brought me to my next slide. So how to master your generator self, right, is you become highly specialized in a craft that lights you up, right? It's one thing Take that- Take the word craft out. Craft is a good idea, and so, but leave it in. Craft or other things, because it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what it is, but it very often will be a craft, you're right, because it'll be something you do with your hands-ish, right, I get it. Right, it's, just, I mean, a craft is, is a nice way of thinking of like, it could be anything right? It could be something with your hands. It could, it's just something that you do that you become very, very good at. 
build right. stuff step solid step by step i love this and wait for that rapid pace to show up just yeah. concern yourself with the fact that you're going step by step if you're a pure generator this is where things would be different if you're a manifesting generator yeah exactly um, so this like i said friends this is for pure generators not by the Take it, someone take it, take, if you got, if you're looking at this and you to snap a shot with your computer or pull your phone out and take a picture of this slide, it's a good one. It's a good slide. Thank um, you. Yep. <laughs> uh, feel comfortable with a regular routine. Because that regular Yeah, yeah that there's regular nothing routine. wrong with that. Knowing exactly what you need to do at what time and repetition <clears throat> is good for a pure generator. It, there's absolutely, you know, correct Repetition for you. is good. As long as you're starting to witness that, oh, I am releasing my happy power as I repeat this. Mm -hmm. If you're not releasing your happy power, it's because somewhere back in the chain of responses, you forgot to respond to something. You missed it. Mm -hmm. And you let your energy out and you let yourself say yes and get into something different than what was true. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. So and then that's, a that's a real measurement that you're making. Right now, the role of a generator in this the 3D world is like we mentioned over and over again is to respond. Right. And do mm -hmm. it correctly, meaning you're responding to things you truly want to do, not doing it begrudgingly. And then right. if you just keep following that, yes, 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 your purpose and all the things you want will just fall into your lap. They will through your open enveloping aura come to you and you will come to them and there's no exceptions to that i'm living proof of it people ask me what my business plan is i run a very complex thing i run a mortgage company again what's your business plan i wake up each day and i respond to the events at hand that's not a business plan it is for me well it's not going to work it's been working for 25 years what am i supposed to do say pretend it ain't so you know <laughs> <laughs> right like you said the correct future just automatically appears in the present moment so it's very hard for you to just be like oh no no in like you know if i keep schlogging and doing this thing that i hate in five years time in 10 years time the thing is going to go the way i want it to that is incorrect you have to say yes however if you can't help it and you keep doing that just stay in your experiment you'll start to see it don't believe us this you know, is true. Who are we to say anything? This is right. your experiment. Believe the experiment. Your experiment is to understand you have a design, get into the experiment that says, I will look at this strategy of response and not. Oh my God, in the moment, someone asked me to do something. I let my responsiveness say, uh uh. And it was yeah. terribly uncomfortable, but it was true. And yes. boy, am I relieved. Because if I had said, uh huh, I'd be stuck the whole afternoon doing the thing I don't want. Yeah. watch that moment that's a great moment to see it and watch it just come out uh uh, uh no uh, you'll come out as a sigh a groan a resistance to do the thing like jesse's resistance to put on his damn socks mm -hmm. right so yep so some of the things that make you know generators very special is they have that sacral life force and it is the most powerful consistent energy source on the planet in the body graph on the planet in human within humanity yeah absolutely yep. and most powerful only in its sustainment not most powerful in its moment to moment thing because yeah. then you get a moment the solar plex could easily overpower you know the thing but it won't sustain at that overpowering the generator will the <laughs> generator motor will out sustain it sooner or later and the solar plex will yield same thing with the root and the ego right you know but which, they're more powerful right? at times the ego will right. overpower the the sacral box and you know, easily just right. not consistently right right it's the consistency no one no other center can really do it that here's, way here's the generative box is tennis player hitting the ball hitting the ball hitting the ball hitting. the tennis player loves tennis what's it doing hitting the ball it's forrest gump i'm what you doing Forrest? i'm running <laughs> i'm running when, did he stop? <laughs> when he was done that's the generator when he was done <laughs> did he right did he run but, the fastest he ran for two uh, years. So, so like three times like right? you mentioned before right on switch yes right. off switch no no was he the fastest switch. runner at all times no some people came and ran faster did he you know whatever he but he was considered that was the gen that's the archetype example forrest gump is an archetype example of a generator mm -hmm. 
in every scene in that movie, he was just a dumb generator. I'm just running. <laughs> you know, he couldn't help it. Yeah. So and that that's exactly like the on switch, but no off switch, right? And they appear to be lucky when they are responding and operating correctly. So it's just a because people magnetic can't believe, black hole. Yes, that, people can't believe the magic of the now could be so good to them. Mm -hmm. It seems like you were just lucky. You should yeah. have planned that out, but it just happened for you. No, that was a proper generative response in that moment is what that was. And in all right. the moments before that led up to it as well. Like Everything just synchronizes, right? Yep. Everything yep. synchronizes and falls into your lap. That means you're a generator that's truly living in alignment. As soon as you're responding to things, as soon as you turn yourself back one half a turn and reorient yourself into a true Buddha-like surrender to the inner Buddha of that power that says, mm -hmm. no, my child, I must wait to respond. Like yeah. the priestess at Delphi that was like, bring me a question and I'll answer it. Don't expect me to go out and start saying stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, those wise people that wait for people to come and ask the question, the fool on the hill, same thing. All this, all these things are add up to the same thing. The little power of the, the Buddha warrior is potent. When the Buddha warrior comes out, it can do anything. That's the mm -hmm. generative sacral life force. Mm -hmm. You orient yourself in response to life. Every last thing, the more you do, the more you realize, oh, my God, this is a great place for me. You know, and that's where that's where the Kung Fu master is. You know, it's just waiting and waiting in response to karate kid. <laughs> right. Remember, Mr. Miyagi catches a fly in midair. You know, that's a That's a generative response. It doesn't say doesn't mean he's a generator, but that was that's in the now. That's in um, the now. Right. And like you, you like you're mentioning, right, you're designed to flow in the now, in the present moment, taking things as they appear. So look at it as a car that's driving in the dark in fog your headlights are only lighting up a couple feet at the t at a time right that's you don't it. know what's going all the way down the road and that's all you have to do is trust that the path is going to appear as you keep driving and and it does appear and you keep going now in that example slow down obviously because you're in a foggy place but that's what you're doing you're waiting to respond to each next new moment you can't know mm -hmm. if you're when you're a generator i promise you there is a fog over what you for all of us we don't know what's next we don't have that god knows what's next we don't we don't have a crystal ball so the generator has to surrender to that so profoundly because they truly don't know what's even true next mm -hmm. they just don't because only their sacral tells them their truth Mm -hmm. And their truth happens to be exactly the same thing as wherever all their energy poured out. Mm -hmm. Truth and energy are one and the same in this case. Truth is energy. For the generator, that truth comes out only as a response. As soon as they're trying to think, they think they can know it or invent it um, in their mind. It's not the same thing. And they'll yeah. know because they know because specifically, chemically, chemistry, the energy to do the thing that you just said yes to or whatever isn't really fully there mm -hmm. i have to write a letter of explanation for one of our things in my business i have to write up a letter hey dan what was the deal with this i don't want to do it i don't want to do it i don't want to do it i'm I'm jesse right now i'm not putting on my i don't want to do i have to have it done by tomorrow i don't want to flip and do it i don't want to so when i'm doing it guess what my energy is going to really sort of suck i already know that if suddenly I find out that, oh, my God, I was wicked creative and I came up with the coolest idea ever for this explanation I have to come up with. And it's really now all of a sudden I'm typing and I'm excited and I'm very happy with myself. That's the mystery of the generator. You just don't know what response. So you can do a thing that totally sucks and suddenly find a responsive moment within it that lights you up. Mm. The truth is you have to look for it. Doing something that sucks doesn't guarantee it's totally, totally wrong forever. Life makes you do things you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Witness your responsiveness. If at the end of writing this letter, I hated it in the beginning and I hated it at the end, then that's true. I hated it. You know, <laughs> And yeah. I will make sure I'm navigating in ways that make sure I don't have to do that if I if ever again, if I can help it. Mm -hmm. That's not where my life force wants to go. Mm -hmm. And yep. the thing that you are trying to mention about the sleep which is, so the only way a generator is going to have good sleep is you have to be drop dead tired. You have to have exhausted your power reserves and you are like that phone battery that just died. 
and you Decide. need to be plugged back in. And yep. that plugging back in, and then what happens overnight? You charge back up to one hundred, and you're only ready. Only when you have, only when you have drained the sacral motor, mm -hmm. will it sleep? Is the problem. So if you force yourself to sleep because you're sort of tired enough, whatever, and if you make yourself go to sleep, whatever, and you you'll fall asleep if you sit there and close your eyes. Generally, you'll fall asleep. But if you haven't truly exhausted that sacral motor, the sleep won't be as good. Yeah, if you're ninety eight percent exhausted. Yeah, if you're 98% exhausted, your sleep will be pretty good. If you're 80% exhausted, you're going to medium. If you're only 50% exhausted, count on having day the next day. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and if this is for children, I have to tell parents. Parents always say, oh, let the children run around a little bit, exhaust that energy. Very wise. We all, we all intimately know that's true. But how about go one step further? Create an activity that the kids like to do where you like, put harnesses over them and make them pull a sled on dry tar. That's hard in you. Hey kid, you're going to, I'm going to sit in the wagon and you're going to walk me around the neighborhood. Okay, mom, that kid's working their butt off to pull that wagon and you're just sitting on your butt. That's not a bad idea. I actually He's made Jesse do that, <laughs> except not with me, not with me, with another kid. He, he pulled around a wagon. He was like happy as a clam pulling. Right. I'm like, wow, okay, well, truly a generator baby if I've ever seen one. Yeah, and then when they're, so Jesse, when he falls asleep, he's done, right? I mean, there are days I can tell where I'm okay. like, I did not exhaust this kid. You did not exhaust I, did, I didn't, didn't do it because he's yeah. up and down and oh, wants you didn't to provide, down. Right, you didn't provide the environment for him to exhaust himself or both basically a combo of those two things so yeah. you're right mom you're right now think of how much you could beat up on yourself if you didn't know jesse was designed as a generator oh i i just get mad and and, and uh, it's like why doesn't this kid sleep da 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 and now and i'm like no i know i was on me i did right. not exhaust him and <laughs> now you're not mad at yourself neither right yeah, it's no, like, oh, like, like, you know, you're witnessing, you're seeing it. That's yeah. this, so she's uh, right now. Moana is exemplifying and role modeling what it is. You, she sees it. So suddenly she's not snapping at her kid. Think of how many times we've snapped at our kid mm -hmm. before we knew. And now it's like, oh, you still may want to snap at him a little bit. Oh, yeah. No, I, I yesterday was not a good day for me. I was but very it, snappy. But it's tempered <laughs> by... Yeah, I can imagine, but it's still tempered by your wisdom now. It's totally tempered. Even if you do snap a little bit, it's totally different frequency. It's not the same thing of the ignorance of us before we knew. Mm, that, that will help me feel yeah. better.